welcome back to Clumsy Cakes. My name's Amy. So the plan for today's video actually uh, came from a video that my friend showed me today about how to cook a cheesecake in a slow cooker. And I have seen this before and I've been honestly a little bit skeptical that it could actually work. Um, I have watched a few of the videos and a few of the techniques that they're using seem a little bit strange to me, but let's try it out and see what we get. One and a half eight ounce blocks of cream cheese, a half of a cup of granulated sugar, a fourth of a cup of Greek yogurt, and also I have a half of a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And one of them broke, but I have three eggs in there. So I already prepared my crust. It's a chocolate graham cracker crust, and it's just um, setting aside. And I do have the video up on the channel that you can um, go to if you would like to see the process. But it's a very simple process. All I did was blend up the um, graham crackers in a food processor until I got crumbs and then put in the butter and let that go until I got some moist crumbs and then press it into the pan. So now we're going to take our cream cheese, put that in there, and oh, once again that helps if you have the mixer turned off. <laughs> Plugged in. Do you even know what this day has been with getting stuff together. I really need to start filming how I get all of my ingredients together because that's when true clumsy cakes nature shines. So <laughs> maybe I'll do a blooper reel at some point. But if I didn't, this is just going to be a plain vanilla cheesecake. And I'll be putting any substitutions that you can use for some of these ingredients in the description. I know that uh, during this time, some of you can't get some of the ingredients that I'm using, and that's totally fine. There are a lot of different things that can be substituted, and it'll work out totally fine. So I'm going to add in my eggs. Alright, 
so I grabbed my pan. I'm just gonna give this one more mix just to make sure everything's incorporated and then put it into the pan. And maybe I did mention, I don't, <laughs> I don't really remember, but this is a six inch uh, cheesecake or cheesecake pan. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to bring this over to our slow cooker and get this in there. Um, so what I did is I filled up my crock pot about two centimeters and I put a little aluminum foil spiral um, just to use as kind of a rack to prop the cheesecake up just so that the heat can get on the bottom as well. And do my slow cooker on the um, coil. I just pressed it down so that it was even or um, sat upright and wasn't crooked, crooked at all in the pan because if it is crooked the cheesecake is going to come out crooked because the batter is going to lay to one side. So now what we're going to do is place um, some paper towel on top of here and then um, put the lid on and we're going to put it on too high and all of the recipes I saw said about two hours. Um, a little skeptical about that so I'm going to just be watching it and uh, we'll see. And none of the recipes said to do this but I'm kind of stuck in my ways for how I learned to make a cheesecake. So what I'm going to do is shut the crock pot off and then, then just let the cheesecake cool in there for about an hour, just as we would in the oven, just to make sure that it doesn't crack on top. All right, so that is ready to go. And it is on and now we'll check on it in about an hour. And um, I'll do the same kind of check that I usually do, just kind of jiggle it. And um, the edges should be set and won't move, but the middle will jiggle just slightly. So here we go. So it actually did take two hours. I just shut it off. And now I'm going to put the lid on without the paper towel. And just kind of not put it on tight just kind of leave it cracked and the power is off and i'm just going to leave that cracked for an additional hour for it to cool this is my slow cooker cheesecake out of the fridge i had it in the fridge overnight covered just to set like i usually do um it looks exactly like any of my other cheesecakes. Um, I'm not going to taste it uh, this time around. I'm actually going to save this cheesecake to be topped with an extra special topping and you'll see that video on Saturday. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you don't miss that one. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more things, make more messes, and make some absolutely delicious desserts with me. Thanks guys. Bye.